Hey, what is up, everybody? I am here to give you my first ever, and I mean my first ever win of honor review. This is the first time I ever watched the product. Let's get that down straight. Um, to be honest with you, I had thought about watching Win of Honor for a long time. I always had wanted to, and I never had the access to it because I live in Massachusetts. And you don't get Win of Honor in Massachusetts. You have to live at other places to get Win of Honor. So uh, I don't get Ma Win of Honor uh, where I am. So I found this awesome website. It's called uh, WatchWrestling.com or something. I'll put the link in the description box for those people that want to watch these indie companies and don't have the access to. And I had thought about for a while to uh, watch Win of Honor, this company. And... The thing that happened was that uh, I never got around to it because I was busy with school, Florida, and other things like that. And uh, I always would get busy, so I never had time to sit down and watch it. But now I'm going to take try to take the time, and I'm going to sit down and watch Win of Honor. Uh, because I actually want to start watching other wrestling companies other than WWE and TNA. Because that's kind of get that, get that, that gets born. I have to expand my YouTube channel. Um... So, this is my first ever review. Now, if it sucks, it's my first review, so I don't know a lot of the wrestlers and stuff like that. So, if it sucks, I'm sorry. I think it should be pretty good. Um, and let's get right into it. So, I, f I figured I would start chronologically from this year. So, I'm going to review the first episode from 2015 and go chronologically until the most recent episode. And I hope I catch up um, in time. We're going to have to wait and see, so let's get right into this review. Uh, so this Win of Honor happened um, on, hold on, I think it was, it was January 3rd, 2015. And this show, I can't really say was good or not, because it really wasn't a show, if you, if you will, I still liked it. But it really wasn't like a show. It was more to look back on what happened in uh, 2014. That's really what this show was. Um, I look back at 2014 to see what to, to to look at the best moments in 2014, which I'm fine with because one, it's gonna help me get to know some of these wrestlers, um, and you know, um, it helps me. Uh, and maybe as I do it, okay. And I guess maybe they knew they weren't going to do a good rating. I'm not really sure why it was like this. I don't mind that they do this because it's nice to look back at the good times. So let's talk about this. So the host for this thing was uh, a guy named Larry Mercer. He actually seems pretty cool. I don't know if he's a commentator. I think he's just one of those backstage interviewers. So I actually like him. And he talks about all these great moments. About how all these superstars returned. He talks about AJ Styles. Christopher Daniels. Matt Seidel, um, who else did he talk about? Um, Alex Shelley, all those guys, and, um, he actually brings us a match. It was between, um, Roderick Strong, it was Roderick Strong versus AJ Styles, and this match happened in Nashville, Tennessee, on January 4th, 2014, um, and... The weirdest thing is, is I actually haven't seen AJ Styles wrestle a match. I think the last time I saw him wrestle was TNA Bound for Glory 2013. I remember the match he had too. He wrestled in the main event against Bully Ray for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. It's been that long since I've seen AJ Styles wrestle a match. Um, that's insane. Um, you know, that... Uh, it's been that long. It's pretty much been about like two years since I've seen AJ Styles wrestle. It's insane. Um, I like AJ Styles. I, I like him on the microphone. He's awesome in the win. I actually really like AJ Styles. He was one of my favorite superstars um, in TNA. Um, so, and I actually like Logic Strong too. I like his in. I, I haven't really seen like his ca anything from him character wise, but he's really good in the win. And uh, he even talks trash for him, saying that he's a better wrestler than AJ, and he's trying to amateur wrestle him down, and AJ keeps 
wrestling him down. And uh, AJ Styles hits a drop kick, and then he hits a baseball slide drop kick um, outside the win on Roderick Strawn. Roderick Strawn hits a super flux on AJ Styles, but he kicks out of it. And then um, AJ Styles hits a uh, Pele in the corner on the Roderick Strawn. And uh, what else happened in this match? Um, Roderick Strawn, because there was so much matches on this show. Uh, Roderick Strong, AJ Styles got Roderick Strong in the calf killer, but Roderick Strong reversed it into a roll-up, which was a nice spot. Um, AJ St Roderick Strong hit a wicked super kick in this match. I like that. Uh, AJ Styles went for a uh, springboard splash. I think he botched because he l ended up um, landed awkwardly. He landed on like uh, Roderick Strong's head, and AJ Styles' knee got blown up after this match. I thought that was a nice spot. So then um, AJ Styles tried to hit the Styles Clash on him off the top rope, but um, Roderick Strong counted into a, like a suplex. And then AJ Styles eventually hit the Styles Clash for the win. Um, this was a really good match here. I thought this was awesome stuff. It was just a really good match. And uh, AJ Styles won. I was fine with this. Um, and then we had uh, Kevin Steen versus Steve Corano, I think is how you say his name. And this match happened in Deadbo Deadborn, no, Dearborn, Missouri, on July 19th, 2014. And this match is special because this was Kevin Steen's uh, last match in Win of Honor. If you want to know why it was his last match, check out my um, other videos on this channel. I don't know why. Um, and he wanted to wrestle his mentor, and, the, and um, Steve Coano was his mentor. And this was a awesome match. I don't. I think this match was better than the uh, AJ Styles match, but this was a sick match. Uh, they both they both shook hands in respect, and then they both started uh, hammering away at each other. Steve Colano was the heel in this match. He chop blocked um, Kevin Steen um, into the apron, and he threw him right into the guardrail really hard. I thought that was a nice spot. And then Kevin Steen threw him into the guardrail, and Kevin Steen takes an El Generico mask because him and uh, El Generico, from what they were saying, used to be tag team partners. And he puts it on and he hits the, uh, I don't know if they call it the Haluba kick on Win of Honor, but I'm just going with what WWE called this move. But he hits the Haluba kick twice into the barricade. I thought that was awesome. And then um, Kevin Steen tries to go for the pancake pile driver, but uh, Carano reverses it into a, he hit, Carano hits some sick super kicks in this match, like sick. They were awesome. And uh, Carano tried to hit a Hurricane off the top, but Kevin Steen hits that reverse superplex that he hits um, in WWE. And um, then eventually, uh, Kevin Steen um, hit, ends up hitting a pump up power bomb, and then he hits the, um, the uh, pancake power drive on Carano for the win, and then they shake hands afterwards. And then they said that Kevin Steen had a, like a nice little speech before he left, but this was an awesome match as well. This match was really good, and you could just feel the chemistry in the win between these two because the, of how, since they were like mentors and stuff, even though like I didn't know about it, you could still feel the chemistry between these two. So I thought this was an awesome match here too. And then they tell us about some stuff that's actually happened. They tell us about um, Jay Lethal winning the win of Auto TV title. He turned heel. He beat up this guy, and he joined this this other guy. That's a bit, that's a heel. I don't know if he's a manager or not. It's not a really good explanation, but that that's all I can really give you. And then it shows a match between um, Matt Elgin and Adam Cole for the Win of Honor title. And uh, Adam Cole, I've heard some good things about Adam Cole, so I I'm just gonna go with what he what I said. Matt Elgin's pretty good. Uh, it broke into a big brawl. Matt Hardy was there, and um, Matt Elgin had won the championship, and then uh, he lost it to Jay Briscoe, which I've heard some good things about the Briscoes too. Jack and Jay Briscoe, I think, are both their names. And Jay Briscoe had won the championship for Matt Elgin, and Jay Briscoe had, they said, had not gone unpinned in three years. I think that's awesome. I don't know if he still is, but yeah. And then they tell us that Win of Honor and New Japan Pro Wrestling grew a uh, partnership, which I think is really cool, uh, because they're both big indie companies. That's the big. That's those are the companies I really hear about. It's Win of Honor and uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling, and now, 
And now Lucha Underground, which I want to start with you on Lucha Underground as well. And they show a match that what they said was the Win of Honor match of the year. And it was the Young Bucks versus the Red Dragons for the Win of Honor Tag Team Championships. And this match happened at War, War of the Worlds. Um, and it happened on May 7th, 2015. This was a sick match from beginning to end. They hit some sick double team moves. Um, Dwayne Busters, they did the sick spot where uh, one of the Red Dragons charged one of the Young Bucks into the barricade. And then uh, one of the Young Bucks speared, um, speared um, one of the Red Dragons. And one of the Red Dragons tried to go off the top rope. Um, to do something, and then the, the that young buck that speared, once I've learned the names, it's going to get a lot easier, by the way, what, the, that spear the Red Dragon member, hit a wicked super kick right on that Red Dragon member, um, and they just hit some sick moves in this match, they hit a spot where uh, they uh, were trying to do, where uh, they made the Red Dragons, one of the Red Dragon members had him up like in a tombstone, and uh, Power driver position, and the red and the young bucks double super kicked that red dragon member. And he ended up tombstone in his own partner. That was sick, and <laughs> one of the red dragons went off the apron and hit a drop kick into the uh, god wheel. I thought that was cool, and um, one of the uh, young bucks they hit they kept hitting like this power bomb into the corner into a goey spot. That was cool, and uh, they did that. Th and uh, the young bucks tried to go off the top to do a springboard moonsault. And uh, the the young dra dragon member in the win got the knees up for the first guy and the second guy he caught him into a triangle choke that was a six spot and then eventually um what happened is one of the red dragons gets one of the young bucks into an armbar and he ends up tapping out and the red dragon becomes the new win of honor tag team champions this was a sick match totally worth checking out and uh, that's my the end of my review like I said this review probably sucked because I don't know any of the wrestlers. But as I, probably as I get to know more about Win of Honor, and I get no, to know more about the wrestlers, these reviews will get better. Um, it's like watching a new TV show. Like if you watch my Oh on the Talkinator video YouTube channel, which you can subscribe to up there, and you watch like my Walking Dead and my Breaking Bad reviews, they probably sucked in the beginning. But as I got to know more about the show, um, they probably they got better. It's part, it's the, gonna be the same thing with Win of Honor, um, as I get, continue to progress with with watching the show, um, I probably will get better at it. But other than that, that's pretty much it for my Win of Honor review. You can click down below to subscribe to my CM Brothers channel where I talk about both wrestling and non wrestling things. You can check my friends James the he my friend James the He Man Hebert has two YouTube channels. One is over here. It's called. Uh, James Hebert, and he makes custom Titan Toronto wrestlers. And then another one is uh, over here, and he makes uh, and it's called Wayne Youth Wrestling. He's going to be holding a tournament, a 32-man tournament for the WYW Championship. And I'm one of the mem the guys in that tournament, and I am going to win that WYW Championship. And then you can click down below to subscribe to me. And the Summer Slam Review series, you can click right up here to watch it. I uh, started doing that. And uh, you aren't going to see 2013 because it's down here. That's pretty much it, guys. Talk to you later.